Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for November 12th, 2021. One plus two is three and y'all know that's my favorite number. Three is the number for communication, for new beginnings. You see a theme this week, new beginnings. Last week was closing out cycles and this week it's new beginnings. Okay, just wanted to point that out. Um, and it's having fun, being social, having fun in the new beginnings that we're starting, communicating this joy, expressing our love in a way that is, you know, positive and, and impactful to our future, right? Three is also a lucky number. So there might be some luck today. You might get some unexpected things happening. I, I keep using this job offer opportunity. I really think a lot of us are getting new job offers, switching jobs, changing jobs, something happening within their job. Maybe it's a project that you've been working towards that gets recognition or you're putting in a lot of hard work and you finally see the benefit from that. Or maybe before you were like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe and, and today you get that understanding and you can communicate that happiness and you can, you know, express that joy back into our life. Maybe we just get lucky. Maybe we're hitting the lottery too. So maybe we want to, whoa. Hold on, lots of energy. Okay, that was a lot guys, so. Also could be a little bit of chaotic energy to the day as there was a lot. So there might be some ups and downs or maybe some of this like random luck seems to spark chaos, but it's this new beginning that we're shifting from that. So some things kind of have to, there, maybe there's some things falling away today too. Or it could be our resistance to the new beginnings. Yeah. What was this guy? Three of Pentacles, okay. Ooh. The shiftings is the trust in ourselves, in our guidance, in what we're moving to, and you know, understanding that this place that we're going is a path that we can only take, that we can only show the way because we have the hero font in reverse today. And when the hero font's this way, it's like a religious figure. It looks like the Pope. His number is five. So we're talking about freedom. And, you know, he's sitting here and he's like giving a sermon, he's preaching, he's talking to the community, he's telling them what to do. And people are, you know, ready to listen, they want to listen, they respect and they respect him and what he's saying, his opinion and how it is that they live their life. And that's fine and that's awesome, but it's also could be like a blindly listening and there we feel, or the five there and does not, Feel like freedom as much sometimes he's sitting in between a doorway so there's a doorway for opportunity I guess again the doorway for freedom and we're speaking religiously um, to tap into our spirit right the spiritual realm for people who are we'll say like Catholic or Christian if you're looking at the Pope you know it's like that is their doorway he is their doorway to that to their spiritual self their their guide their way through this life right but in today Maybe I got some of that wrong, so I apologize. But it's really just about, you know, looking at a com being a community and looking up to somebody, you know, and looking to that person for the answers, looking for the per to that person for the keys to the doors that they're trying to unlock within themselves. I think that's a better message. I'm sorry, I kind of butched the other one. Um, but with Hierophant being in reverse, we're not looking at other people in our life. We're not looking at other role models, other you know groups peoples we're not we're not getting involved with the community to help us you know build ourselves up or us up we are trusting ourselves we are trusting our intuition we are trusting our internal guide and we're allowing that to free us and give us that sense of security and freedom that we've been feeling five is also the number for chaos and conflict so that energy is around today as we are freeing ourselves from these things and these establishments or these jobs these people these groups there's some that might not like that so that's where i feel like we can experience some of this conflict so at the bottom here we have two of cups 
So that meaning relationships and nine, nine of cups and the queen of wands. So there's love, there's love in your desires in your life and creating what you want and also the relationships. So I like this here at the bottom. Um, you're going towards more solid, stable relationships that are here to help you grow and help you heal and move you forward. That doesn't always have to be within a partner, but with also your friendships, business, um, jobs, working, work relationships. Um, so allow those to change because today is a day I want to say move for change and moving us to trusting our guide, our internal compass that helps us get through our doorways. We don't need somebody to unlock the doors for us. We have the keys inside of ourselves, okay? That's where I'm going to leave it today. Have a good day and communicate those things with your sake. The communication today comes with ourselves and communicating you know, the answers that we've been looking for, our desires, communicating what drives us. Um, what drives us and moves us forward. Um, and have fun with that because it should be because we're doing we are going down a path that's aligned with our desires so if we're not having fun when doing something that is fun to us or that makes us feel joy or express you know happiness then we should be having fun so don't be too serious about it don't get too stuck in your head have fun you can get yourself through this okay I love you and I will see you tomorrow on the Daily Tarot Reading. If you would like to check me out and look at my website, it's ashleyrose.com. The links are in the description. And yeah, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. So, bye. See you later, alligator.